In the last video, we talked about how we can optimize string concatenation in floating text by using cache numbers. Now, let me introduce you to another case that you can optimize. Countdown. Countdown exists in a lot of games. For example, the famous Among Us. You will see in the voting round, there is a text written, a voting start in some seconds. Normally, you will use string concatenation like voting start in plus time numbers plus the S which is the seconds but similar to voting text we can use cache number instead let's find out in here i have a simple counter script where i have the duration and the time remaining in the start method i will start the time remaining to the duration and in the update method I will check if the time remaining is less than zero then which means the timer has ended and we have to restart it and we will restart it by setting the time remaining equal to duration again and I will update the timer countdown by subtracting to the timer delta time which um, as I remember is equal to 0 0.02 seconds and then in the meantime, I will display the remaining time. And in here, similar to Among Us, I will print out voting begins in something seconds. But now, I will show you the difference. In here, I hash a cache number that get cache count of time, and I'm also gonna pass the time remaining. Let's take a look. In here, I have a dictionary called cache count of time, which takes a key as an integer and a value as a string. In the get cache count of method, I will provide the count of time as its parameter. First, I will check if the dictionary contains the count of key. If it does, I will return it right here. And if it doesn't, I will create a new string. And then, I'm gonna add this to dictionary. Likewise, I'm gonna catch it and then I'm gonna return it. So, basically, what we do is we just gonna create string or concatenate string the first time only and then we will catch it. And all the time, if we need the information, we will retrieve this from dictionary. Let's start in the editor. Oh, uh, I think I will command this first because it will print out the second time, I guess. So let's start an editor. You see that after 8 seconds, it will print out 14 begins in the remaining time. And the best thing is, after it's restarted, it's just not going to create a new string, but recycle it because we already catch this for future use. In some games, you will see that Kaura has even been formatted in the minutes, colon, second format. Similarly, if you use string concatenation multiple times to format a second to that format, it will result in a lot of string curation and it is not optimized. So instead of that, we can still catch this in that format and this is really powerful. In here, I will initialize uh, time span I'll call it time and it's gonna be time span from seconds and I'm gonna pass the countdown time here and then I'm gonna convert it to that format so the string convert it's gonna be equal to format of to string and then I'm gonna pass the format Now, let's take a look at the editor. You see that it now has been formatted to minutes, colon, seconds as we wanted. In here, you can also mix into both type format if you wanted. For example, 
I'm going to check if countout time is uh, larger than 10 seconds something. else I'm gonna just pass the count of time to create a rush feeling and I think that's cool let's check it oh I forgot to return it in both in both cases you see it now has been formatted as you wanted and do you want another format that's the end of my video if you guys like it, please consider like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.